Hello everyone, today I will show how to use Open Detect for performing simple time to depth conversion of seismic data. As you can see, I have opened one 2D seismic line in this uh, window. It's called the seismic line 14. So there are few 2D horizons I want to show and see for only so I'm using only two so you can see there is a problem like a problem it's not a problem it's in the 3d so I have another line in this direction so it's in time dimension you can see if I unclick this you can see that these are in time and milliseconds so if I want to convert them in depth domain I have to create a velocity volume so first we'll go to processing then create seismic output then not here time to depth conversion but velocity volume builder and in my case it's 2d there I will select a velocity builder setup but I if I have a few setup but for in case if you don't have any setup for example you're starting a new project so definitely you don't have anything so for this uh, I'll create a dummy velocity volume that I'll simply call dummy and I'll remove all my setup here and here you want to select horizon based painter simple because we are picking two three four horizons and inputting velocity or velocity gradients for each horizon so horizon based painter select so for uh, for example i will just show one layer which will be the survey top that means our data is uh, offshore seismic data so it's the ocean floor uh, i mean then we will select top value that means velocity value for water it's 1470 or 1500 if you input it's not the survey button we want to select horizon so the idea is uh, to use let me show something so idea is this is the water layer this is our sea floor this is or crust something like that so uh, I have the seafloor horizon here and the uh, now the water water surface and uh, ocean bottom or seafloor so I select those two layers and this is all water right so I have value for the 70 for this layer and a different velocity for this layer and if i have third layer there will be another velocity so we are just doing this first layer right now okay so the second layer will be our crust surface or no it's actually the sea floor and water's velocity is theoretically increasing but not increasing that much so we can it's almost constant in the bottom top and bottom so we can say yeah 1474 top and bottom as well so name for this step we can see water body Then we can add another layer which will be from 
one horizon that is our sea floor to crust surface the, the bottom will be another horizon that is crust surface so for example I want to and this encompasses all the uh, sediments I want to put 1500 for the top layers of sediment and about 2.4 km per second or 2400 it's a good idea to write the names here for example say 1500 to 2400 that will be easier for you to uh, when you are trying different velocities for your study area okay and then you can add the third layer or the last layer which is the top of the, which is is the uh, crust surface and the crust has a higher value for 5.5 km on average and bottom boundary is we don't know it is the survey but uh, we don't have any horizon uh, below cross surface so we can just add the survey button in the bottom it asks for is it a gradient or bottom value we want to say bottom value it will calculate the gradient so the bottom value at the end we have to say it's like 6.5 km per second and it is the crust okay and we also want to include the velocity 5.5 to 6500 okay so now we want to say dummy okay so we have created so to recap we go to processing uh, we go to create horizon uh, seismic output velocity volume builder 2d we click edit and create new velocity William, which is named dummy you also have some other velocity for example in my, in my case I have three layer velocity volume for line 14 just as you can see we also have the dummy I have it here then you select your imported seismic line so you have to import the seismic lines before you do the velocity volume building and pick up pick the horizons then you have to create a uh, output attribute uh, for this line so I named it line 14 under what is it called under slash or whatever uh, under bar velocity volume try this is one this is my first try if it doesn't work or if it has any kind of problem with horizons mostly I will change it so then I run so after running it I have already ran it uh, so if I in the attributes if I select the velocity volume you can see this blue part is 1470 water velocity this one here is the sediments in the middle if I go and here we have the sediments and here we have the crustal material okay so now we have to convert it to uh, depth scene that so you have to create a new depth scene it's a 2d depth scene and we are not using simple depth depth we are using velocity volume and select the velocity volume you used i used line 14 velocity volume one and you have to probably edit and go to edit here you definitely have to go to edit and select the velocity type v inter well, like v int which means interval velocity we are actually using the interval velocity of each layers how many layers we have uh, whichever you have selected then you click ok then that will create a new window depth window just beside the time window and go to view z scale and select the scene all or depth and you can okay z scale it has very high vertical resolution i don't want it 
I think that's okay. Huh. So for now, I will minimize the time section and maximize the depth section. So this is the scene one, and this is scene three, which is called this is the depth scene. So here we want to add a 2D line, which is our line 14. In, in that new case, it will be near line name dummy or something. So we will be selecting this right click here, select attribute, store data. We definitely want to use not use the VB1, which is a just a time section, time to depth section. We want to use the original seismic. In my case, original seismic was not working, that's why I created a copy of original seismic attribute, which is line 14. Too. If I add this seismic attribute, this is not time to depth attribute, this is seismic attribute. Okay, it's it's just done. It's basically done. So if I compare with my time section, I don't know how to get it. Line 14 display 2D viewer. So, this is the 2D viewer of our. I think I should change it to Petrel. Now you can see it better. So, this is the time section and display 2D viewer. I'll go to petrol you can see it shows us in depth kilometer so for some reason when it actually is not showing it meter 5 kilometers 7.5 10 kilometer 12.5 kilometer is converted to depth and it's in time millisecond you can see how the data is stressed so here you have the maximum thickness of the crust or uh, high, uh, high velocity rocks so you, you here you have a bulging and also here here you have a less thickness of the, the crust that's why we have thicker sediment that's created a thinner crust not a thinner crust but our seismic data stretched within like compressed and here it's like extended so i think this uh, will be helpful for you guys and i also want to show how to how to convert to like export the image properly with high quality for uh, using in geo software whatever I use petrol 